Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We adore your name. We salute your majesty. We see it is all about you. We give you praise. Thank you, Father. Have your way in our service. Do as you are pleased. We come against carnality. We come against manipulations. And we decree that no weapon formed against this service shall prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we decree that we are mightily blessed and led of your spirit. That as we live here, we will be blessed by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, believers shout, Amen. Amen. Oh, shout a powerful amen. amen. Now I want the heavens to hear your voice. Amen. amen. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 On Wednesday, we started some, uh, an excerpt. We started a particular uh, topic and uh, we talked about ministry. Amen. Amen. What did we talk about? Ministry. Mm. Uh, <laughs> are we together? I wish sure we are here. Yes, sir. Uh, are you here? You are now coming. We are here. Uh, uh, are you sure you are here? Yes, sir. Are you at First Chronicles chapter twelve, verse 20, 32 We talked about ministry, right? But the theme was not ministry. The theme was exploits in ministry. Yes, sir. In other words, doing big things in the assignment God has given you. I said exploit me what does exploit means exploit means that doing the unusual it means that everybody is doing something simple simple but you you are doing something big something extraordinary ministry means assignment so it means that undertaking your assignment in a special way are we together yes, sir. so if it is preaching everybody is preaching the normal way but there is something about your preaching amen. amen if it is healing everybody is healing the normal way but you there is something about your healing are we together yes, sir. if it is uh, sponsoring the work of god everybody is doing but you are doing it in style amen. amen if it is service you are rendering to god everybody is doing by just a special amen amen Yours is big. Everybody wants to trace something from what you are doing. Are we together? Okay. Amen. Amen. And in the same thing, exploiting ministry, we continue. Okay, we continue with exploiting ministry. Can I surprise you? Nobody can have exploits in ministry without understanding. Praise God. Hallelujah. I said nobody can have exploits. Nobody can do big things without understanding. Are we together? Yes, sir. Proverbs chapter 4, verses number 7. It says that wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. But in all thy getting, get understanding. Did you hear what the scripture said? Yes, sir. You said Nelson Saudi will crow a kuma o preache bibia or se precious and tia see a we together. Yes, sir. Or se o preache sha precious a day. Wisdom is the first thing that everybody must have. Are we together? Yes, sir. But it says, if you are looking for something with all your strength, look for understanding. Yes, sir. Without understanding, there is no progress. Okay. Without understanding, there is no effectual or effective communication. Yes, sir. Without understanding, there is no growth. Yes, sir. Without understanding, people cannot live together. The Bible says, according to the book of Ecclesiastes, says, can two work together except they agree. Why would they agree? Because I understand your principle, you understand my principle, so I think we can go together. That is understanding. Yes, Are we together? Yes, so he says, wisdom is a principle in Proverbs 4 verse 7. He says, in everything, look for what understanding. Yes, now let's go to Chronicles, as I uh, uh, first chronicles. I, I, I either wave your hands to the heavens, wave your hands to the heavens, wave your hands. 
See what the Bible says. Even in ministry, hold on, man of God, let me read. Let me read. Today I'll read. I'll be my own reader. Okay. Even in this world, can I surprise you? Okay. How many of you have gone for a musical concert before? Maybe as is wine as a bagana. Now, or your gospel rock show, you metal is hosting a program. Sanibadu. How many of you have, have gone for such programs? Uh, you've gone for a Christian program like that. Eh? Yes, that's what awesome. How many of you have also, when you're in the world, when you're alienated in darkness, how many of you have gone for any program, street carnival, uh, uh, Shatawali uh, concert program? How many of you? Oh, let's raise our hands for Jesus. <laughs> Brother, raise your hand now. Haven't you gone for it? Yeah. <laughs> that is fine. So you see, when people, when Satan destroys people, they, they invest in Satan. When they hear that, but when people come into Christ, what? This is him, I'm program, Sometimes, when you say, you know, 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 Sometimes, when you say, you know, you first song, you know, you know, you know, Dana se, Dana se, da unyami na se. If we say, oh, if it be the keyboard, then you must have a program. Be a man for me for lay under the power of the Holy Ghost. But in actual sense, nobody is thanking God because me me say Dana se. Also say me Dana se. Ti yemu wa ine Dana se. And I wonder why some people sing some songs. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 If we say, Oh, ye, now I do a order. Into me more guidelines now, they are done as it. Also, my guidelines now, they are done as it. You know why they are done as it. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is why you have to. I tell you, when you go to places, listen to the prayer topics before you pray some. When you go to some of the musical programs, listen to the songs. Hey, you were in him, Tamio, make one trap for me, young couple. Keep on doing. Hi. Because contract you are also cremai. Hey, you are me in him, Tamio. Me can't trap for me, young Cupone. Oh, Nintia, so on Tiasia, and go on to Sanum. The key for name, Buafo. Hey, I mean, so Kunu Muyatia. Brabet na wa himwe mo We ni mna me rechai Wa adu Ose so kunu ya diya Onu me jina na hi The Bible says heaven is his throne The earth is his first tool The biotino on sorida E nyo unti no os oba beta Okay, 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 okay Amen Thank you why do we love Jesus? We don't love him because he has done something for us. We love him because he has shown us so much love. The Bible says we love him because he first loved us. So what he has said. The thing is, everything God has promised you, don't ask him again. Okay. Example, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Don't pray and sing songs and say, Ajen kwa wadana. Bible also says, He that watches over Israel neither sleeps nor slumber. Understand it? Okay, let me come back to my message. I will together. How many of you have gone for musical programs and an underground artist has come to sing? And for, if you are a music person, you realize that this is a song. But from the crowd, very few people, maybe three out of the 10,000, 
we'll be clapping and we say yo 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 and we'll be excited how many of you have ever witnessed something like that and sometimes the songs that the underground rapper sang is sometimes better than the one the star one of the songs the star played but the fact that he is known his songs are known everybody be like yeah, yeah how many of you have ever experienced that so underground artists bar and you know tonedo but people are not moving with the flow yes, the very few people that come up and say mom you understand yes, sir. but say stone boy beginner uh, stage you know so no sassy my sassy i just so muntaku in nation just say i like you you are real I was born again, no. Oh dear, no. See, as you show me, I mean, clear, me and I. Are we together? Yes, sir. And now there, um, 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 men for Pandana from Ghana. Oh yo. Afini Ogere. Oh yo. Hey. That is that is just by the way. Focus. Do you know why? People can flow with bandana from Ghana, but they cannot flow with the underground artists. You know why? They don't okay. know the song. Oh, okay. If the songs were played for them to know, because we know the songs, so twice yes, yes, yes. But because we don't know the songs there is no enjoyment we are not profited by the performance are we together yes, the same way even when you come into christ it doesn't matter how many times you pre present yourselves to god in church when you don't study the the, the scriptures even past if a preacher cry you, you, there is no flow yes, are we together in the, when pastor preaches now who preaches uh, and in that dimension or cast first john chapter 4 verse 4 then you pick up signals in your spirit because you know that first john 4 for year of god so there is a, something that boils up from you because you know the scripture and you want to respond understand it yes sir yes sir are we together yes sir so in every situation understanding is a key virtue that everybody needs so far as you have an under you have a ministry at stake you need understanding Amen. praise god Amen. when god called moses moses knew there was an assignment what did moses do the bible says moses began to ask questions he says this pharaoh that you are sending me to how will he believe God gave him a sign then he says you have given me a sign that Pharaoh will believe but my fellow Israelites test me out they also need a sign God gave him a sign then he says when you go tell them this show them this go to Pharaoh show them this then he said that when you go to Pharaoh even though you show him this, he will not repent because I will harden his heart. So before Moses went to eat it, he had understanding. So even though he had an assignment, he had what? Understanding. Sir, there is an assignment on your life and you need understanding. One of the things you have to know is the times and the seasons. Are we together? Let's go on. First Chronicles chapter 12. He says, And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had what? In your Bible, what does it say? In your Bible, what does it say? And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had what? They had what? In your Bible, is that understanding? He says they were your says what read read your version verse 32 
what Israel should do. So basically, uh, your version says understand, and it is the same as understanding. Praise God. Okay. So in different versions, uh, the Bible used different vocabularies. Are we together? Yes, sir. But to understand and understanding means the same thing. So he says that, and of the children of Issachar, which were what? Men that have understanding of the times. The first thing they understood was what? The times and the season. And they knew what Israel ought to do. And the heads of them were 200 and all their brethren were at their commandment. Are we together? Yes, sir. Are we together? Yes, sir. Look at what the scripture said. He says that the children of Issachar, they were men that had understanding. The first thing they understood is the time and the season. And the next thing they understood was they knew what Israel had to do. And they, they commanded all their brethren. Before a man can command you, the man must first be a man of understanding. And the man must know the times and and the man must know what you have to do he has to do and what must be done to meet a particular task amen amen that is why in these last days it is very dangerous to go to every any ministry just like that today there are many good ministries there are many good ministers but they don't have understanding about the times so they are not preparing their church for rapture Amen. it is very dangerous that is why I keep telling you that being good is not enough that is why sometimes you can find in a marriage a good man and a good woman, but their marriage did not hold. Why? To be good is not enough. You have to invest in yourself with so many virtues. And in the midst of all of them, you need understanding. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You need what? Understanding. So a good man and a good woman, you know they are good. That is why even after they divorce, they are still in good terms. This man has married another one. This man has married another one. But they are still in communication. They have never fought. So far as their children are at stake, they, they, they take their responsibilities and they do it very well. Why? They are good people. But it just didn't work because to be good is not enough. You need to invest in yourself with so much virtues and have understanding about yourself, about the other person, and about the situation you are dealing with. Amen. Sir, you have to understand. Even when you go to a particular church, you have to have understanding about how things are done. If not, you you will be disappointed. And I'm sorry, we. The bar. I'm on my fire, 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 fire. Master, didn't you know that? Me who say that I'm on fire, 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 fire. You need understanding because fire is the Holy Spirit. If we pray, we say Holy Ghost. We are talking about the Holy Ghost because one of His attributes is fire. One of His attributes is water. One of his attributes is, is um, um, the dove. He is attributed in many ways. He is the same Holy Spirit. I see. When we say Holy Ghost fire, we are not packaging a particular fire to go and hit somebody's face. No. It means that we are praying through the Spirit. So we have prayed that in the name of Jesus. We are progressing in this life and nothing is stopping us. Every weapon formed against us has failed. Every human vessel, every spiritual agency that is 
orchestrating devices to manipulate activities of this church it shall not stand and we have prayed and we say holy ghost in other words father we pray through the holy ghost Amen. That is it. Amen. sir if we say holy ghost we are not sending any fire to him it is only the spirit of god that moves through our prayer Amen. that is why one of the things you will not find us saying in this ministry is we use the blood of Jesus to destroy their works. We don't use the blood, we use the name. He says, anything you shall ask me in my name. Are we together? Yes, sir. Did he say in my blood? No, sir. In my name or in my blood? In my name. Wherefore has God exalted him and has given him a name or a blood? A name. A name or a blood? A name. He has given him a name and at the name. So even when the name comes into your mind, you are free. Amen. Sometimes you find out that many people experience this demonic attack. It's like a sage that happens to people at night where people, uh, people sleep. And for some reason, they, they, there is this demonic oppression and they want to shout Jesus and it doesn't come and they want to save themselves they want to talk, nothing is happening it looks like they are attacked, the voice is not coming and the name Jesus comes into their mind then there is strength because the name only came to their mind and there is strength and at this time power came to their mouth and the voice came out. Do you know why? The Bible didn't say at the mention. When you go to many churches, they say at the mention. That is not what the Bible says. The Bible says at the name. Even when the name crosses your mind, there is freedom. Amen. Amen. Sir, we must not use the name first. So you are thinking about how this thing is happening and the name cross your mind. All you have to do is respond to what happened to your mind. It is possible. Many of you don't know how to use uh, 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 the tongues of the spirit. See, as you are there, every time speak in tongues. When somebody tells you something that challenges your face, ah, this is my message. When somebody says something that is evil, he grab those key man, na na na. You know who you are talking. Before you respond, speak in tongues. That's it. Now people will think that. What are you trying to show? I'm showing you what is happening. He says they were men of understanding and they knew. Today, I tell you something. A, a farmer who is farming in the summer and a farmer who is farming in the winter are not the same. They must not farm the same way. They must not farm the same crops. If not, one will fail. Do you know why? Okay. Because God created seasons according to Genesis chapter 8, verses number 2. He says, so far as the earth remain, seed time and harvest time shall not cease. Day and night shall not cease. Summer and winter shall not cease. So it is a spiritual law, a spiritual legislation. God has prepared things to happen in each season. So there is what every season produces. There is what works in every season and in every atmosphere. So the farmer that is farming in rainy season must have understanding of crops that responds to excess water that responds to rain in the soil and use those mechanisms, use those knowledge and wisdom to farm crops that will bring fruits. Amen. Amen. But if the farmer who is also farming in the dry season begins to plant things that cannot survive without water, he will lose. What is the difference? Understanding. The same way as you are called into ministry and God has given you assignments, the first thing you have to understand is this is not the days of Elijah. This is not the days of Adam. This is not the days of Noah. These are the last days. 
So now you don't do ministry like Apostle Paul, Apostle Peter. No. You do ministry like you are the last hour. Are we together? Yes, sir. Are we together? Yes, sir. Remember those of you who have lived in villages, sit down, sit down. Thank you, Jesus. Many of you who have lived in villages or in places that you have ever weeded before or done any farming activity, when you have a contract, Unyandopa to weed somebody's farm and maybe you are a, you are one or two or three or a group and you are supposed to end at five and you realize at four o'clock that you have to end at five but what you still have to weed is plenty what do you do you double up what do you do you double up. what do you do so it would take only a foolish man or a man without understanding to understand that he only has an hour to complete the job but there is much to do to still play so in these times we are not joking it is the last hour and we are not doing ministry we are not carrying out our, our assignment like there is nothing happening rapture is coming amen amen rapture is coming we are happy to meet jesus but our heart is crying because there are people that needs to be saved you encounter somehow you have to chase people, chase people before they come to church once in a week. It means there is trouble. Wednesday, I told you why you why you have to arise. Why you have to arise? Wednesday, I told you. Today I was there and something came to my mind. When I was 14 years. I could still tell you something. 15 years, 17 years, I was a cell leader at Christ Embassy. I remember how, as a teenager, 15, 16, 17 years, I would walk from here to Aveno and I would not eat. My father said I was not going to church with him, so I'm no more his son. So uh, 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 now, the small that I will get for food, I, I should use it for transport. But I was trained that it is a blessing to give in church and to give something good in church. So my food, my money for food, I will not pick a car and I will walk to church. And when I walk to church, I will not buy food with it. I will pay my offering or sow a particular seed concerning a particular project with my offering. Then I will still walk back home not knowing what I will eat. These were the days where I was between 14, 15 and 17. I have something to say because I lived my life doing things for Jesus. When I was 20, I used to go around, go around, go around. Oh, God of the days. We do so winning till it's about 3 a.m., 2 a.m. Sometimes we walk by the streets and you meet all sorts of people, all kinds of people. And there are people that, by the grace of God, we won at midnight. And their testimony was, that is the only time they come home because of the job they do. Sometimes their children don't even see them. So if we don't evangelize us at those times, who will win those people? Am I advising you to do it now? No, because sometimes you, be, you should be strategic with the way you do things. But we have done crazy things. Amen. Early Amen. 20s, we did many things. Mid 20s, we did many things. I could, I could tell as a 24, I was very crazy for Jesus. You go to, go to the forest in the morning. We pray, pray, pray till around 5 p.m. We come home. We were the prayer warriors and the leaders of a particular church. We go there and we we lead service. We participate. Nipa ba kumiye niyama be sex. 
I do this, I do this, I do this. Yeah, poor sorry. Now it was so full being so on so at prayer meeting or choco girl school park and so on the end your yes and or poor I match one o'clock. We go there to help that particular man. If you are here by and now then we come to the church auditorium near better one hour and as sometimes we pray and we sleep as at five o'clock. Now about seven pay a coffee. Me I call prepare for Achimota Forest again. That was our routine. And what was our prayer? We are praying for lost souls. We are praying for men of God. We are praying that many will be one. In a whole one year, there was a particular routine from Achimota Forest straight to uh, church. From church, so winning, so winning, and choco from choco prayer. And it was prayer, and it was so winning. And we live our lives in, in the mid 20s, in the mid uh, 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 later 20s, entering into 30s. So you, you see, we have lived our lives, but today there are many people who are youthful as they are. You they don't have anything to share about their experiences with God because as they are working with God, they are not working with God with their hearts. They are working with God with their minds. So they prepare extra time. They give God their free time. They give God their spare time. They come to God when they are free from everything. They come to God when they don't have anything doing. They go for soul winning when it pleases them. But out of their discomfort, they don't create situations to serve God. We have prayed till men were, men could not pray anymore. We have prayed for hours where our heads literally ache and we have testimonies about living for God but we understand that there is a particular time appointed for everything. There is a particular time you can do this. There is a time coming you cannot do it. Amen. And we have testimonies. Testimonies. Life testimonies. Today many pastors Today, many pastors are products of our soul winning. Today, many church people who hold high positions in many ministries, name them. Name them. We have raised men. We have won men. We have, we have, we have nurtured men. On this ground, we have raised more than 10 prophets. On this ground, who are doing well in active ministries, are we together? Yes, and we have the stories, but today, people who come to God don't have stories. Oh, there was a time I was, I was, I was, um, I was just like then a particular time I called you and he said. You are walking from home to church. And I like him it as a this is my brother. He don't care. We done crazy things for Jesus. It doesn't matter the distance, it doesn't matter what it will cost you. It doesn't matter. We don't care about our dignity. We don't care about who 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 who, who doesn't like us because of the things we do for Jesus. So far as we want to do it for Jesus, we are doing it. And today, even on earth, we have testimonies to share. It means that in heaven, we have something to glory about. Amen. See, the Bible says, serve God, worship Him, do all these things in your youthful in your youthful days. You, can I tell you the mystery and the secret about these things are you yours, eh? in your youthful days now uh, uh, the day of evil another morning eh? the day of evil in your youth among forbidden your opportunity in their youthful days and they didn't do it and now they are old but yours you don't have an evil day coming because there is no evil day the thing is you are meeting God in your youthful age. Rapture is coming very soon. So it means that you need that understanding to work as a man who is working at the last hour to invest everything. Everything. Sir, you think we didn't have jobs? We left our jobs. You, you think we don't have business? We don't have certificates, sir. Eh? Wait, Janet.
God blessed us. Ah, may I cry and pray among for. See, I told you I can never be poor. That might be really a school for fraud. Sit down. That might be really a school for fraud. There is one thing that I started doing. I started teaching a lot of school children in my neighborhood. I got a fine place. I started with three children. Before I could say Jack, they were almost 20. Because I was taking money, 50 grand every month. You go pay. Why? Now they imagine. It's our time now. ABC and me. 50, you know, and small. Then you're small, and you pay. In today's financial, it's our time 15 to send a 300 city square. Nipa Bakube, Tia 300, is a minimum for almost 20. But in Nipa, a crazy woman, and almost the moon to your 50, moon to your 30. Because consideration, ma'am. To understand that teacher be an naughty area more, or the application, ma'am, is a me employer, no, no. You enter class no, no, from KG basic class one. Now, means you enter from class one, go to classes. Now, I'm poor. Now, my son, three GSS one, two GSS three are there. Sir, I can never be poor because why? I am very creative. I told you today, if you take this microphone from me and you say I should no more be a pastor, I know how to wash cars. You understand? I know how to shine shoes. I will not be poor. If I start shining shoes, I will start employing people because I will get more customers. I will create new ideas to improve my business. I will, I will go from just a common shoe shine to a, 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 a factory owner. Sir, I am very creative. Amen. That is why when I find a lot of people struggling and they are saying that uh, life, 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 I, they are not, you, are, you are not smart. You are not smart. You are wasting the Holy Spirit. You are not smart. Knock on people's door. I remember there. Derek, let's. So I know they know so. And you know, those time meaning I know they do meches. Ah, Oshieni or Dimbe Bridge. I feel Derek before I overcome his scram. The guy became very smart. Okoba and they know or Dimbe Bridge. Come. This guy just entered the Roman school. Okudu up a pair pair. I know this is a French forehead master. Any one of the teachers say, Casa about uh, mouse. Oh, we hear about 50 mouse. No, say, ah, sir. But I know you. So, all this, I don't know, sir, they sell mouse. <laughs> On top mouse, maybe. Uh, no, say, ah, they do logistics. I get many things that they sell. You know, see, so you can supply us mouse right now. I say, oh, oh, just tell me how much, how many pieces you want. A one of Ruby. Uno mouse go. Uno mouse go. At on a five for the amount of seven times fifty. Why, this car? Obedu ya no mo say. Now we want furniture, office furniture. I say ah, how many do you want? They be saying that one too. I say oh. I say they do logistics. You ask him of. Sir, we didn't want to know where to Sir, be very creative. You cannot be there and be crying that money is not coming. Be creative. So some of us, we cannot be poor. We, if I start teaching school children, well, school children, school children, is here, I'll go to people's houses. And their parents too will know. They will know. Free time I'm starting trauma there. They will see the results, differences in results. And I'll invest. I, I, I'll do things. I'll do things. And when they see the diff, ube wuna matisku. Sir, ube wuna matisku. Be creative. Be creative. There are many things you can do. Would you at least start a start a preparation for fee? I remember a a me ma me mu fee ona a prado so na one person ube prano ti a twenty. <laughs> so you you can start with that one. 
in your own house, start with that one. So in the whole month, if you can get people to give you, take 30. If you can get six people to give you 30. And we are from uh, 5 to 5.30. In two days, 30 Ghana times 6, I uh, have 180. I mean, it's going to be to our rent car. Then 6 o'clock, enter the market. So the market is for your shoe, your keeping, and what? <laughs> the rest. But man, to know so far, fear rent in no one nonsense. Because who they operate your rent? <laughs> Praise God. You see, he says they were men of understanding. People of God, the Bible said, Arise, according to Ephesians chapter 5. He says, Arise, thou that sleepest. Wake up from thy sleep, thou that slumbers. He says, Start redeeming the time because what? The days are evil. People of God, can't you see? The days are evil. We are not in the first days. We are not in the middle days. We are in the last days. We are not playing extra time. It is left with only one penalty kick. We are gone. Sir, arise. Don't waste your life. Don't waste your effort on the face of the earth. See, don't wait before Pastor Joel gives you the microphone before you preach. The market is a micro. See, can't you see when you sit in a particular car, you are feeling maybe I would alone continue anymore preaching. But the Holy Spirit is prompting you to speak to the person beside you. Something is telling you to talk to somebody. But the thing is, there is nothing called something because everything has a name, everything that has an identity. The only thing in you that can talk to you is the Holy Spirit. Understand the time, push out some friends away. Understand the times, don't put yourself in temptation. Start praying, don't waste yourself. Understanding the times and the season, know what to do. The Bible says, and they knew what to do, they understood the times and the season, and they knew what to do. So the people cannot pray because they don't have understanding, so they don't know what to do. Prayer is something you must do. But if you don't have understanding, you don't pray. That is why today, just like in Matthew chapter 9, verses number uh, uh, 37, the Bible says, when Jesus saw the multitude, he felt, he had so much compassion for them. Why? Because they fainted and they were scattered abroad. They were like sheep without shepherds. Can't you see? When you walk down the roadside, can't you see all the people they are scattered, they are fainted, they are helpless. Can't you see your brother? Oh, you see my seven. Can't you see he's helpless? Sanka, if he's, he has help, he will not do what he's doing. That friend, that neighbor in your community, you walk down the street. They are going to places they must not go. They are doing things they must not do. And now who oh Call provisions of the earth and say some fast energy drinks today. The boys are abusing themselves, the beer rush are some five stars because of the far rush, not the tom tom atom or the house atom, not the trauma do atom. Who become a beer nasa and now you come on to understand that man in a deal with of it. Can't you see the affected? And you don't know what to do. God is telling you, go to the marketplace. You go to work at 7 o'clock. You go to work at 8 o'clock. At least, sorry, dress a kama. So they are going to But we can't see more. Start it. But deploy store by store. Store by store. Monitor them. Pray for them. Wake up at dawn. You have to know what to do. If you are not waking up at dawn, then it means that you don't have understanding. You don't know what to do. If you are not praying for that sister, that you know that that your sister is a good sister. I'm telling you. But good men will not go to heaven. It is only saved men that will go to heaven. That your brother is good, but good men will not go to heaven. According to Acts chapter 10, verses number 1, there was a Roman centurion whose name was called Cornelius. He was was the high the high commander of a, a, a centurion band eh, in Italy and the Bible said he was a man who did so much good he was a man that 
gave so much arms to the poor. He did so much good to understand that one day an angel of the Lord appeared unto him. He says, you are a good man, Cornelius. Even the good things you are doing has come before the Lord in heaven. But good men will not go to heaven. So send men to Joppa for them to bring Peter. He will preach unto you and he will tell you how you can be born again so that you will be saved. Then you, your good works will not be in vain. There are many people. You know that your sister, he saved the whole year to give unto charity. He is doing good. But he finds it difficult to pray. Finds it difficult to read the Bible. Finds it is it difficult, difficult to go to church? And he has a good reason. He goes once in a while and he tells you he has office duties. He tells you he, he is fainted. Sir, it's your responsibility. You have to know what to do. If you wake up, give yourself just one minute. This job that has become a hindrance in my sister's life in, a, in the next one month. He starts speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues. The Lord will create a way. The Lord will create an avenue. If it is not possible for him to get an opportunity in the situation, the Lord will make him lose that job, bring another job. And sometimes, the losing of the job is not God's will, but it is God in the situation who understands. And there are certain things that happen that conforms to God's will, but God doesn't destroy men's opportunity. God doesn't destroy God when things happen, bad things happen, it is not God. God doesn't kill a man to teach another man lesson. God doesn't destroy a man to teach another man lesson. God is not an author of evil. That is what the Bible teaches. And the Bible says God doesn't tempt a man, neither can he be tempted. So God is not the author of evil. He doesn't destroy another to teach another lesson. So when all these things happen, it will bring that person to the place to fall into God's will. You see that you have won a sister when you knew what to do, when you had understanding that your sister is good. But if you don't stand in the gap for them, there was a time God was crying. He says, there are no intercessors in Israel. Who will intercede for my people? Today, God is crying. They are not intercessors. Many of you want to look like Christ. If you want to know the original identity of Christ, he's an intercessor. The Bible says he has risen from the dead and he has gone up to sit at the right hand side of God. What is he doing day and night interceding for you and I so what is what is Christ doing right now he's interceding if you want to look like him start interceding start praying for people who are lost start praying for people who think they have it but they are failing in this life because they don't have Jesus amen. haven't you seen amen amen, amen. haven't you seen yes, sir. haven't you seen yes. that when you go out to preach to people People are losing it, but you don't know what to do. Many of you, you want to rest for it. I tell you, you don't need more than six hours sleep. It is, it, it is a waste of life. You don't need more than six hours. Don't let any doctor deceive you. You will not die. You will not die young. Bishop Oyedipo is, uh, I think, 69 years, right? This man has slept three hours continuously for close to 40 years he's still strong are we together has he died three hours close to 40 years what well, how many how many hours three hours sir i tell you you will not die okay. i remember a popular story of a christian he says one day his wife forced him to the hospital they got there and he was sitting down looking at the doctor they ran every test he said he's fine. Then the, the doctor said, but what does he do? He said he's a preacher. Then the doctor said, he doesn't rest. <laughs> he says, that was around 1982. The doctor said, he doesn't rest. In 1982, he doesn't rest. And he has carried, he doesn't rest till now. See, that was the life of Jesus. You see, you have rested too much. 
you have slept uh, you have even slept on your glory you have slept on your favor you have slept on your blessings why because these times are not the times for sleeping these times are the time for you to awake awaken your spirit you have to be on fire you see you have lost your fire to understand that even when you come to church somebody has to tell you lift your voice and pray because you don't have any fire even the source of your fire the church they have to motivate you Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Medawasiyoda. 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 Medawasi you mean young coupon. Mancasa medawasi vida young coupon. Medawasi why you be a ma vida. Meme se medawasi you mean young coupon. Also to our bekasi day. Medawasi you own young coupon. O dawas why you be a mao. Medawas. Ah, dear why ye medawasi you da. It would jibi pans and yamia ye be a mao. And now jibi pans and young coupon yo young coupon. I would jibi send yam why ye a mao na sum boa. I was saying, I may catch out said, Be one on a cassette. See, before we left that song, something is boiling in you, and you are appreciative from, from within you. But you have lost that fire. There is no fellowship in the house, there is no fellowship at the workplace, there is no fellowship anywhere. So, even in the church, you have lost the fire. Where can you have the fire? Oh, you see, the Bible says, according to First Peter chapter 2, verses number 9. He says he a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, called out of darkness into his marvelous light to show forth his to show forth his he to show forth his to show forth his praise to show forth his, to show forth his to show forth his praises. So you as a child of God, what must you show his praises? You as a child of God, what must you show his praises? You as a child of God, as a child of God, what must you show his praises? But now the thing is uh, the church is where you gain your strength. Then when you go to where you endeavor in the activities, where you win your souls, where you do your job, where you have your family and you, 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 you use the energy you got in the church to do the things there. Then when you come to the church, you come and share your testimony. Because the strength that you got here, you have used it in the world to do what? To exercise dominion over the works of the devil. And now you have the praise to give unto God. So when you come here, you cannot keep quiet. Because you are to show forth his praises. But the thing is, here... When you came, you didn't get any strength. Because you are like in Matthew chapter 15, verses number 7 and number 8. He says, these people honor me with their lips. Their hearts are far from me. In verse 8, he says, in vain do they worship me. For they worship me with the mere words of men. And they teach with the doctrines of men. So God is seeing your heart. And he knows that you are using your mind. Because you are distracted. Your eyes is not on God. Your spirit is not focused. You are not conditioned to get something from I am. You are not conditioned for your praises to enter your spirit. And when your praises cannot enter your spirit, it cannot get to the throne room. So your praise is on your lips. It is not in your heart. Because the heart of a man is the spirit of a man. In Ezekiel 27 verse 37, he says, I will create in you a new heart. And I will take in from you the stony heart. And I will put a new flesh. And I will give you a new spirit. So when you become born again, your heart is not what the doctors say. Because the Bible says you will take that heart out and you give you a new spirit. So when the Bible talks about the heart of a man, he talks about the spirit of a man. So when you start singing and it doesn't enter your heart, it means it has not entered your spirit. So that praise 
cannot go to God. So you are here. Your mouths are babbling, but your hearts are not with God. Your praises are not with God. How can you edify yourself so that when you go out and you meet challenges, you overcome? That is why today you find out in many congregations, people who must so forth the praises of God, when they come to church, it is the church they bring complaints. It is the church they bring their trouble. It is the church they are distressed. It is the church they feel worry. They need motivation in the church. Sir, go to Afghanistan. Nobody is motivating anybody. Your Christianity can only be hosted in Ghana. Go to Libya. They are killing pastors. I have a video on my phone. In South Africa, Church of Pentecost. Oh, my God. Sorry, sir. And a gunman, a room, and the cameras caught it. They took the phones of the pastor, the gun, um, they, they pointed the gun on the pastor, sir. In Ghana, in fashion, you so. And when the gunman went, they started praising God again, sir. Who must motivate you in the church before you say into us, uh, and you think that because of your problem, we must wait for you to find motivation before into many time now, maybe even praising and go bono. Be found raising your spirit, sir. Who is raising my own spirit? No, 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 no. We don't have time for you. You see, your spirit will be raised, but before it will be raised, my praise must go on to God. So I don't have time. You see, when I lead praises, I'm not looking at you, I am doing it from my heart. Into shamanaya. Then the praise is not for you. Maybe I will not tell you to lift your voice. I will not tell you to shout. I will not tell you to, if I say because I because you understand? So the thing is, we are here, we need motivation. Because when we come to church, we come with our minds, we come with our hearts. And the pastor they preaching on the pressure time. Because they didn't come for the word. They came to conquer time. And we only came to spend one hour here. We only came to spend two hours here. I'm sorry I upon a clock over 8.45. On our CM point, sorry in terms of me on bar 5 o'clock in complaining here. So the thing is, we come. Even in prayer today, many people are excited. They have, uh, I, I pray for two hours every day. I pray for three hours every day. Oh, sir, it is not about the three hours. What has been happening since you started praying for two hours? If nothing is happening, then your prayer is just about conquering time. Your prayer is a waste. It, it is a waste. Two hours of your prayer is not enough. Because when I lift my hands and say, I receive revelations. I receive motivation. I receive inspiration. My eyes are open. Open. My spirit are open. Sometimes I don't even need to say Riga. So you see, many a times, let me surprise you. When I come to church like this, I don't pray because I am coming to preach. Pastor, Pastor Joseph, many a times we will be hosting programs, big programs, all night and the whole day I will be with Pastor Joseph. Sometimes many of you find out, I come here. Remember about 5 o'clock. All night, I say about 9 o'clock. Remember about 5 o'clock. I will be here before the service starts. I will be here I will be here before the service starts. 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 I will be here before the service it is not the prayer I will pray that day that will make the anointing of God rest upon me. Sir, there is a daily activity. You see, so it has become a friendship. I know God's rhythm. He knows my rhythm. He is my father and there is a connection. And I don't need a ticket to book an appointment to enter him. I am always there. He is always here. So sometimes, many a Sometimes we can have a program and program it will be very powerful. Sir, I didn't spend one prayer on that program day, but maybe after the program I'll be praying. What will I be praying for? Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Sometimes when we can have programs and on Mondays we can come here, pray for the program. How many hours will we pray? Program I hear here to bless people for about eight hours. You know, 20 minutes we are praying for the program. Ah, 20 minutes, but you don't know what has been happening behind closed doors. There is a relationship between myself and God. 
God. What you have to develop is relationship. You see, your problems has cut your identity with God. Your problems has put a barrier with God. Your lust and your greed. When will you thank him for the things he has done for you? You don't understand the times. When people have to be praying for lost souls, people are praying for lost shoes. Are we together? Yes, 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 See, there is a difference between worship. Understand the, the, the times and the seasons. There is an assignment on your life. See, don't waste your life. Don't waste your youthfulness. Don't waste the opportunity. God has given you a nice ministry. God has given you a ministry like YHI. God has given you a pastor like Pastor Joe. He has given you the Holy Spirit. He has given you the anointing. And it, you see, can I surprise you? He has given you the opportunity to work in the vineyard. See, God has, God saw many people and he chose you. Okay. And he says, okay. shoo, 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 shoo. Ah, sir. See, the Bible said, there was a time, David said, I cannot sleep in fine houses, make with cedar and with gold. And the ark of God will sleep in tents. I will build a fire. Then God said, shut up. I do not sleep in the houses made by the hands of men. He says, don't you know who I am? I am God. I don't, I don't glory in those things. So you don't do those things for me. Maybe your son can do it because you are filled with blood. You understand? There are many of us eh, and Myanmar, Pastor, these things that we are, you see the way we come to church. We want to help the things of God do. But Pastor, pray for us. When things happen, it is a lie. When things happen, you don't see those people in church. Because the same things that brought them here, the same things will take them out. There are people in the church, eh, something has not happened, but they, they use their last. There are people in church. Something has not happened. They have not given promises. They sweep the church. Those people can never leave when something happens. I tell you, don't be like one of them. I have plans for pastor. You, you have plans for pastor. Are you the one who called me? No, 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 no. Me, sir. Pastor, they me. Who said, oh, oh, she could My friend, respect yourself. Respect yourself. Did you call me? Self God from your pure conscience. So who ye be a man yet to say sponsor and can you sponsor God? No, sir. Yes, sir. No, How yes. much do you have? Oh. Oh, no, say, I am the God that gives seed to the sower. See, at the end of all this, she from the sower and for sower, man, no. So at the end of the day, no one will bring you. No one will bring you. Into the sower, all the all the all the at the end of all you are showing them. Who be here? It is a midawa. So sower, man, me be. So me from Koye, then some brown for sower, man. That is the conscience. Okay. Okay. Amen. Are we together? Amen. God has chosen you in these times. You don't joke. Understand the times and the seasons. There's a ministry. There's an assignment on your life. But here, a day, a very short. According to Matthew chapter 24, I told you these things on Sunday service some time ago. I told you that God said, God said, the days are evil. We are in the last days. But you or see, for the sake of the elect, the days will be shortened till your last days. Who, but or say, or basically, castle until at the end of time, now cano is but or say, and so shall it temptations. I have a banning in the public brain to me, did not be very best here as it into your bed, or basically, a and you are joking you are waiting for tomorrow i remember when i went to ss and i said 
when I come back from school. Oh boy. All my life, I'll spend my time in the church and I'll do. Because before I went to SS, I was doing so winning. I was doing so many things for God. And I've taken a lot of ad adventure in school. And when I come back, I'll, all my life, I'll be able to do it. I'll be me. Let me enjoy life. Are we together? Yes, sir. Are we together? Yes, sir. When I had the opportunity again and I say I will never enjoy life. You understand? Because there was a man in the same Bible who said that ah and the media you know me nyama na bruso and then me cra di deny day and me and no say okwasia and then me jo cry day. You see the year with them in one day they could Didn't you hear what Brother James said? Or say God cannot be tempted. Neither does God tempt a man. Why? He says every man is tempted by their own lust. And lust, when it is conceived, it gives birth to sin. And you hear what Paul said in the book of Corinthians. He says, Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? For the sting of death is sin. So when a man begins to sin, he falls under the law and qualifies to be uh, governed or colonized by death. At that time, nobody can save you. I said at that time, nobody can save you. Nobody can save you. But when you yield your, your members as instruments of righteousness, then you come to the place where the Bible says in the book of uh, uh, Romans chapter number 6, he says, death will no more have dominion over you. Sin will no more have dominion over you. Oh my God, then when you come to that point, you can face death and be, not be troubled. You can face death because death doesn't have dominion on you. Sin doesn't have dominion over you. And anything, the Bible says, anything you yield yourself members and uh, a servant of to that thou become a slave you understand so if you don't yield yourself as instruments of sin death cannot rule you so when you see that you can rebuke that are we together yes, but in this last times we face that situation and we think god is not with us you know why because our, our praise is not praise our praise is, is is a formation i understand our worship is not worship we don't even understand worship we'll be able to us all them see us or to worship or, or, or to worship no i can say one poor mommy i made a hey, worship how does he praise god how does it exalt god a hey, thanksgiving and a hey, praise one poor mama ah sir 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 this is the time you have to have understanding read the scriptures you find out i, I told you many many a times i told you that Say, Anka, uh, if this place were to be an auditorium, Anka, they be our Bible, Munana, Nipa, Bible, because Omubeja, na Sunday, Omubama, Beto. So the whole week, nobody studies the word. And this is the routine. Many, many. This is a part where many thrive on. Many are not friends with the Bible. Many are not friends with the Holy Spirit. Many are not friends with prayer. Many are not friends with seed sowing. Many don't invest in the activities of the kingdom. So many are fainted. Many are in trouble. Many are in distress. Are we together? Yes, are we together? Yes, are we together? Yes, Today when people eat communion, they even eat communion with, with, with the wrong motives, with the wrong position. Are we together? Yes, Imagine Obi or Onokwa Koji communion. Now we set a game after a sorry. This person, one thing they are Jesus kind, or see, they, they do this for this cause, many are sickly and many die. Why? Because they eat of the Lord's Supper not worthy. After communion, why? I don't know who could track his case yet, sir. Mercy. And you know, and yes, I didn't put in yes, a temptation. Oh, okay, now, I didn't have a plan. Oh, dear, my name is Ah, sir. Have understanding about the times and the season. Understand. See, the first thing you have to understand is you are not ordinary. The next thing is you are a child of God. The next thing you understand is 
your father is not just a common man. So if you live anyhow, you are not just disgracing yourself. I just say, and now Kufuadoba ni huno not to get to no ashe no asha tali anyhow. Nanu hu akufuado ne first born na ube huno we in the top ne guo nan order ne chest nam gidi 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 sa ugu na seneti ugu ne papa hi ni ni masi. He doesn't understand whose son he is, but only me seneti papa na yo mampini ya or kubebiya or be carry no huye or nama ne kasakra afi or be se seneti nam for some. And in Niamma be pray. Understand who you are. You are not an ordinary person. You are a child of God. You are born again. The life of God is in you. You are not ordinary. You have been baptized into the death of God. You have risen with Him and you are seated with God at the right hand of God. Can I surprise you? Can I surprise you? I could follow the Nebako Harvard. Said the Abbey Obeku Tsian Computer Science. God has given you the Holy Spirit. Said the Abbey Ossian Bible No Better. Are we together? You are not the same. Him. For you to be the child of another man and for you to be a child of God, they are two different things. So it doesn't matter whose child he is. If he is not born again and he doesn't come to the heavenly assembly, there is difference between you and that person. If you are not a car, but you are exalted in heaven. If you are not a nimpa, but you are exalted in heaven. So you don't live anyhow. You understand and you come to your father because he's a loving father. When you have a loving father, you always want to see your father in the house you want to sleep by your father i remember when i was a kid early when i was a kid i always wanted to eat when my father was eating are we together because there was a connection in my early ages with my father when you have a loving father when your father goes out and he's not back what do you do hey that a crowd man but when you have a horrible father when he's away then we need it Oh God, oh boy, oh boy, think about the God that we have. Think about the Father that we have. According to Psalm 16, verse number 11, the Bible says, In his presence is fullness of joy. We or see at his right hand our pleasures evermore. Into when you come to God and you stay where God is, you, there is this particular joy. Don't you find out that will be so many men who so many years the day you give an offering from your heart, the day you say prayer from your your heart, the day you do things from your conscience, that day oh I feel happy. You feel happy. You're excited. You don't know there is something in you that is telling you you have done the right thing. The day you prayed, you, you woke up for the first time. You have not prayed at dawn. Then that day you woke up. You feel like you are weak, but you are strong. Because this time you have heard the word of God. He says, For when I'm weak, then I'm strong. Then you understand. You hold on to this word. Then you have read. The, the words of God according to Isaiah then he said even the youth shall fail the young men shall utterly fall but they that wait upon the Lord they shall renew strength as eagle they shall run and never be weary they shall sow on the wings of the eagle so you wake up you feel sleep you say I shall not sleep you feel tired you say I don't respond to it then you begin to eat so he got out then for the first time you feel like there is a shout there is a shout he grasses her he grasses you don't know what you are saying. Maybe you are saying Mokola, but you are happy saying it. You are happy saying it. Then after you have prayed, maybe you didn't even pray for too long. It was just for 30 minutes. Then you feel like you are happy. Even as you are sleeping, you are on the bed. Then you say, hey, 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 hey. Then something will be pulling in you. Something will be pulling in you. You sleep. And for the first time, demons didn't chase you. For the first time, cockroach did not chase you. For the first time, you had a dream and you heard God's voice. He said, my son. Maybe you have never encountered it before. Because in his presence, is fullness of joy. When you understand who you are, understand the times and the seasons, you will know what to do. These are our last days. We are not joking. We don't have enough time.
time we are going all out we are going fierce we are going double we we are increasing our arsenals we are increasing our mechanisms we are increasing our weapons our prayer is multiplied our seeds are increased and we are saying that oh god oh god use me as i am and you become a weapon in the hands of the lord it doesn't matter the situation they say somebody is dead all you have to do is to arise there you go out and there is a particular person even many pastors have not been able have not been able to bring that, that person to church you, you you went there and everybody told you don't try you say i will try okay. they said they said sir this person don't go there and then I will fire you. you understand then you go and you understand that the race is not for pastors the race is not for deacon the race is not to the swift battle is not for the strong man God appeared to Zerubbabel and said it is not by might it is not by the clerks it is not by the castle it is by the spirit of God so far as I'm full of the Holy Ghost it doesn't matter all men can fail Okay. But let all men be liar. Yeah. The God that called me yeah. can use me to move this mountain. Okay. He says, if I can believe in my heart, I can say to this mountain, be thou removed. It has become a mountain to many people, yeah. but I will not stay long okay. because I will spend time in prayer yeah. and I will command on his head. You see, you, you invest time. You know what to do. Many people went there, but you, 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 you spend time in prayer. I pray for brother and okay. The spirit of God is piercing his heart. Every hardened heart is broken. Every hardened heart is softened. You go there the first time, brother Enoch might reject you, but the next time he will call you. Okay. Sir, when are your service days? Yeah. When are your service days? Sometimes it might not even be the preaching that will meet Brother Enoch. But Brother Enoch will hear that when Sister Sandra was sick, you were the one who prayed for him. So when Brother Enoch is sick, he will call you. Then you shine. Then you reflect the messages of Jesus Christ. He says, let your light then John chapter 9 verse 5 he says as long as I am in the world I am the light of the world so it doesn't matter wherever I go there is darkness I am the light of the world if you understand this in this last time you will shine you will illuminate yeah. and you don't understand as Jesus says we should shine we should shine we should illuminate you don't understand Isaiah chapter 16 verses number 1 he says arise and shine right. he's saying the same thing Jesus says he says for the light has come and the glory then in verse 2 he says for darkness covers the whole world and cross darkness upon the people but he says the Lord then you remember then according to second uh, 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 Corinthians chapter 4 verse number 3 he says if our gospel if our gospel if our gospel if it is hidden that is why we can hear for god to love the world and be excited then you can hear that another person can hear the same thing and it doesn't mean anything to him because for you and him you are a man of light so when you receive signals from the holy spirit your light brightens the more the word of God is 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 the fire that exalts your life. Are we together? Okay. Just like in Leviticus chapter six verse twelve, he says that the fire on the prayer altar must not go down. The priest must put wood in it. Do you know the wood? The wood is the word of God. The fire in the, is the Holy Spirit, and it is the Holy Spirit that brings you illumination. So the more you read the word of God, the more you have light. The more you speak, the more you bring light to the world. Why? There is a darkness all over the world that is why people are sick that is why there are wars in afghanistan that is why men are into drugs that is why there are many people who are under demonic bondage why there is darkness upon them but when you stand to pray he says whatever you shall burn on earth has been bound in heaven so it doesn't matter you can be one person shouting from your corner you know what you are doing you are throwing light to a generation it doesn't matter
pattern. All you have to do is to open your mouth. All you have to do is to enter a particular place. Yeah. Then you are bringing light. Okay. You know what you are doing. If today you bring the gospel to Alice and he, she follows you to church, and tomorrow you bring the gospel to Belinda, what are you doing? You are spreading the light. Yeah. Very soon yeah. the yeah. world will be illuminated. Yeah. Yeah. Can I surprise you? Okay. The Bible said in the last days, before we go out from this world, the kingdoms of the world shall become the kingdoms of our dear son. Did, did I tell you this? Can't you see that these days, Momo that was most was Zambia, Momo Ajinasari was Senegal. Haven't you seen Apostle Johnson Suleiman? Haven't you seen Pastor Christ? Haven't you seen that this time all the men of God are being crusaded? In the last time, the church is taking over. Rapture is coming very soon, but before it happens, we shall shake the world. Okay, so the okay. thing is, God is waiting for vessels. God is waiting for people to use. When you allow yourself in the last days, He can use you. Okay. But when you don't allow yourself, He will do you. He will do it without you. Okay. Are we together? Okay. In First Timothy chapter two, verse number twenty. Do you know what the Bible says? It says, "In a great house, there are not only vessels made of gold and of silver. Not just say vessels near the big gold nigh, and vessels near the the silver nigh. I say, but of earth, earth and so can earth here, here they." Clay I and of wood. Not just a a beer won a price. And near money be no not just a swahimu nyan kupo my was as so a bimu wa yeah the good na ayom. The kind of things they are doing has qualified them to move from wood to earth, from earth to uh, silver, from silver to gold. Into some people in the king, everybody is not the same. That is why I find a problem when people are singing songs like We are together. Yes, See, yes, in yes, this yes, yes. kingdom, we are all not the same. Yes. But the Bible continued by saying, the Bible continued by saying, if a man purchase himself from these things, he shall be meat for the master's use. And he shall undertake special assignment. Not just any coupon de be a common assignment. No de be a special assignment. Why mono be a special assignment? Omo mo tio mo free ni mo bimu. No mo dio mo si o man yang coupon. Into mo sa kolano. That is why you heard the story. When you go online, you can go on YouTube, you go on Google, you can find out a young boy, seventeen years. I think 17 or 19 years. Oh, UK. He entered the mug one day. Omo kwa kofa ubi flu omo. Ye ye flu na tuwa sa sa debe omo risho ni para. And they counted the people lying there was about I think 15 or something. Then the young boy was worshiping God and he was stepped by the power of the Holy Ghost and he told them the 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 man who was looking after all the people to hold on. And he says that do you know God can raise all these people? And he says they have their bodies are decaying so there is no possibility then the young boy lifted his hands by the time he would go down he was just 17 or 19 years all those people who were dead and their bodies were decaying came back to life he is not an apostle listen very carefully he is not a prophet he is not an apostle he is not an evangelist he has not been ordained do you understand he has availed himself for his master's use. Obiti Pineke, Holy Spirit, catch us a cast in the name of Jesus. How can God use you to heal HIV? Are we together? He says, if you allow your in this last time, something has happened. There is a movement. The church has been called. That's why the mandate of this ministry is according to Joel chapter 2, verse 2. I told you, he says, a day of darkness, a day of gloominess, a day. He says that a people whose kind has never been found. He says, a, a fire goeth before them. Whatever they find, they devour. And they come, they take over everything. That is what is going to happen. From now till next year, before Jesus comes, we are taking over. See, see, as I am telling you, we, we are starting from here, but we are throwing signals. All together, we are starting from here, but we are making announcements. We are coming to the gate. And we are not saying that because we want to be popular. There will be a time you come to church and you look at your right side, 10,000 people. Hey, you look hey, at your hey, right hey, side. Hey, hey. Do you know why? Because we are going to take the gospel to where it has not reached. Yes, because we are going to force the gospel on people who don't want to receive. Yes, it is not because we want to be famous. It is not because we are powerful. It is because there is 
a, a passion on our heart. You see, there is something we fail so much for souls, and we want to do something for Jesus. We want to do something. We don't have enough time. Now we are using all our, our weapons. We are using our time, our money, everything that we have, and we are saying that, Father, it is the last time. We, 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 Today or never, use me as you can. This time I believe it is possible. That is why you see, when Paul prayed for the people, it was different. When he prayed for himself, it was different. He says to the church, when I speak in unknown tongues, because they will not understand, I will speak to the church in the language they will understand. Then I will speak small in tongues. Then somebody with a spirit of tongue will interpret it. But he says, when he that speaketh in unknown tongues edifies himself, then in First Corinthians chapter. 14 verses number 16 he says i thank my god i speak in tongues more than you all so in other words when i'm praying for you i'll pray in a language you understand so that you can say amen but i know that speaking in tongues is for edification in your call filipino as for you my god shall supply all your needs but for me, I have learned to be content in whatsoever situation I find myself, whether to abase or whether to abound. Me will be a manager. Me may be a manager. And I, in Acts chapter 20, verse 24, I say, I go bound in the spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that will be for me, except the Holy Spirit that witness in every town. And I in verse 25 for God say, but none of these things move me. What do you say? It doesn't move him. He says, none of these things move me. That I may finish my course with joy. The ministry I have received of God. You understand? There is a ministry on your life. Your life, when you meet Jesus, you will not tell him that you want to have that, and now you are a computer science student. You are the one who saved Ghana's economy. That is not the account you are going to give. Okay. God created you with an assignment. The thing you can do with computer is a skill. He added it to you so that you become profitable in your ministry. There is an assignment on your life. You cannot tell God you are doctor. For all you know, the doctor was part of the ministry so that you can minister faith and salvation to some of the people you are ministering health to are we together okay. but when you don't see those things you will live in the same earth i tell you and you will live in the same earth everybody will not live in the same place in heaven abraham walked with god we read from the bible are we together okay. in genesis chapter 17 it says walk before me and be perfect and abraham walked with god and according to the book of genesis we understand by scripture abraham walked with god when he went to heaven he had a place lazarus what did he do he only got the salvation he didn't walk with god what did he do he went to heaven because of the salvation but they said a Lazarus was in Abraham's bosom. They didn't say Elijah was in Abraham's bosom. So what you do even on the face of earth determines where you shall live in heaven. Sir, there is a, an assignment on your life. Don't you think that all the people of old, they also had traits? Don't you understand that many of the people, don't you find out? The, the Bible talking in the book of Exodus, it says, and many of the Israelites were animal husbandry. Do you know? Do you, do you understand what it means? They were animal farmers, but they still work with God. The, the, the job or their work did not prevent them from doing what they had to do with God. So they had the job to keep them, support them, feed their home, and build a better life for themselves. That is ambition. But there is a particular thing called vision. Vision is defined with destiny. And destiny is your purpose on it. Are we together? Okay. In this last day, your cry should be, Father, don't, want, don't let me waste my stay on earth. Let me find my purpose. And as I do these things for you, I conform to my purpose so that when I meet you, you shall not look at me and say, Go, I know you not. And you shall say to me, You the faithful servant. Come, you have done what is right. Amen. Are we together? Amen. Are we together? Okay. Are we together? Okay. So it, it underscores the fact from what the Bible says said as we read in first chronicles chapter 12 verses number 32 he said that and of the sons of Issachar they were men of understanding they knew the times and the season what I'm telling you is there is a ministry on your life but understand the times and the seasons understand so that you know what to do sir don't sleep too much 
Don't eat too much. Be sensitive. Be what? Be sensitive. You are there. I am at one o'clock. We near to open so that undimenda. The Holy Spirit is helping you to pray, sir. Pray. The Holy Spirit. Oh, sorry, Ekra. Uh, uh, do you know how God even surprised you? Oh, sorry, and our Bible app and the old phone so pop you up with a message, sir. God is talking to you. Okay, In the okay. midst of all this, don't open WhatsApp. God is talking to you. Okay. Okay. You are there, you feel like speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues. And you are shy because you are in town. Yeah. You are in town. Ah, check. Don't you understand? Do you know how many languages we have in Ghana? A bimokra come with their sa ukra ubu. Yeah. Naturally, maybe I'm lying. Sa won't take us a bit more cra in your sreda. But when they speak it, they speak it with confidence. Sir. Okay, yes, and you sir. have a language. Okay. The Bible says when you speak, no man understands. But in the realms of the spirit, you reveal mysteries. You are shy. Sir, you are shy. 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 Say it. The Bible says no man understands it. Fufu, fufu. Say it. <laughs> in Acts chapter 2, the Bible said, when they began to speak in tongues, the people came and they said, ah, they are speaking in our language. These people are drunk, or they think they are doing something. And Peter said, we are not drunk as he is supposed. This is that which the Lord prophesied through his servant Joel in Joel chapter 2. Clap for Pastor Joel. Pastor I we together. And then pastors will be preaching. How poor out my spirit in the last day. Your young man, when I'm a Peter said, Abai Yane Kanduru and Rufi say, I was a, I said, sir, he is not drunk. This is what the Bible said. I explained what spiritual language, I told you there are spiritual codes, okay? I show you many things. I show you many things. Don't miss service. Don't miss any service. I show you, and I'll teach you many things. I show you many things. Many things. They are quotes in the spirit. I, I, I told you according to the book of Daniel. And Sapir. Nyankupon Sapir. Nebetro mene mene teke ufasim. And a mene pe crutches. And Nyankupon aji wa hini eno. No wa chama na nafu o mene pe. But mene won kren mu chese we. But Nyankupon sa ne pie wa Daniel nebetro mene. But mene non su yen kren di. Yen kren word. In this, I may come, men, 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 or we will visit me, Jimmy, my mom, and some in India, America, may come crying, and visit me, can't talk. But it happened as God's hand came in the book of Daniel, and it wrote in the days of King Ahasuerus. Until then, on only the men, pictures, and young couple, and you are Hindi, and all the Beman, and a fool, and all the other Banku Banku. See, keep saying it. If you are Banku, the Bible says in the realms of the spirit, you, re, you are revealing mystery. For all you know, Banku Banku ne trese irade a pambiara e diabusiyanso limiti free as here. But you don't understand. You are shy. You are shy. You are shy. Do you know why we are men pleasers? Because who throw say unyano won chene tio kasano besero. We are men pleasers. We are men pleasers. We are men pleasers. We are men pleasers. And then the nyangu po inshen ni pashe. Are we together? Yes, the Bible says God is not a respecter of man. Today we are respecters of man. Yes, 